Hi, this is Ugnus at Piano Talent TV and in today's video I'm going to talk about different ways to gain finger velocity and practice difficult passages those appearing in Liszt Hungarian Rhapsodies, Ravel pieces, the BC, Chopin and Haydn and so on. Before we go any further, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you watch this video in full as the exercises are in progressive order and they supplement each other. The most common issue students face in playing passages evenly and accurately is usually their lazy thumb. I think students often ignore the thumb, but really that is the finger you should mostly be thinking about as it will help you to smooth out your transition and smooth out the scales. When playing scales, arpeggios or some difficult passages, students often keep their thumb in one position, forgetting to move it to the next position soon enough, just resulting into uneven and sloppy scales. One of the exercises I came up while working with my students requires constant thumb action to improve required muscles and accuracy. Press D and E notes with your second and third finger and hold them down. While doing that, practice your thumb only traveling from C up to F and then back. Repeat that a few times and then expand the gap by one more finger pressing down. And now traveling distance for your thumb increases from C to G. So I have been practicing some Debussy and Liszt recently in preparation for my recitals and I struggled with a few passages. Making them fast, light, made me come up with different ways to practice it and this is what I came up with. Take the passage you struggle with and find the pivot point that usually is the connection point where your thumb is involved. Break the passage into small parts and work in groups and positions, practicing that in clusters and chords. Also going from position to position involving the movement of your thumb. Start slow and gradually increase the speed. You can apply this to any fast passage in pretty much any piece of music. Here is an example of this practice that I applied to the pieces by Chopin, Liszt and Haydn. This way of playing the scalic passages I learned from my teacher Andrew Wilde when I was playing the very last sonata by Haydn in E flat major. Whenever you need to play a long, fast, light and even scale or passage, best is to adjust your elbow into the horizontal position against the keyboard and kind of push your arm in the direction of scale. This way is increasing the speed and making it technically easier. Thank you. 
Also, try to reduce the amount of finger power you use and lighten up your thumb. And kind of think that you're doing a crescendo down. This is just an extra practice tip which really works well for those who wish to strengthen their fingers and get a passage work more accurate. Practice your passage by swapping the notes around. For example, in Liszt Hungarian Rhapsody, the passage goes like that. Here is an example from Debussy's Image Book 1. Another practice tip for accuracy is to learn to play your passages from different notes. However, this really does work only where the notes repeat or pattern repeats. For example, the passage consists of the notes A sharp, G sharp, F sharp and B. Every time you practice it, simply start from a different note, thinking that the starting note is the strong beat. And then go just an octave down. And then do it again. And again, and then start from a different note, and then from the third note, and then from the fourth note. To finish this video, I would like to say don't be afraid to experiment with your practice and combine my tips with any other practice methods you know. Also, please watch my other YouTube video about warm-up exercises, apparently used by Frederick Chopin and his students. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below. Sharing is caring and I'll see you in the next video.